You did it. You made it. This is the end. It's the final lesson, not really a lesson, but just sort of summary, a little bit of a chance for us to look back on the semester together um, and to celebrate, to mourn, passing of what's been, you know, a very unusual year and a very challenging time for, for all of us. I hope by the time that we're back together in the fall, we really will be back together and we'll have a chance to enjoy some of the in-person aspects of this course and other course that we've been seeing over the past year. But, um, you know, congratulations to you. You've made it through a difficult year as a student, as a human. Um, take a moment to uh, congratulate yourself, give yourself a little bit of self-love, practice a little self-care, um, recognize what you've been through. Um, so one of the points, you know, so, so I was like, what's the point of this lesson? Is it just to sort of brag about all these big numbers because the class is big and so a lot of students do a lot of things? Um, no, the, the point of this lesson, I mean, there, there is a component to which I want to recognize all the hard work the staff has done. I also want to recognize all the hard work that you've done. But the real point of today's lesson is to remind you about how you did this thing how you did this beautiful thing that you did, right? How you have succeeded in this class. You know, it's easy. I am too often guilty of this, where I don't look back. I'm only looking forward, right? I think about, uh, what did I do last week? And I forget, oh wait, what did I do last month? What did I do last year, right? You know, there's a, a phrase by Bill Gates, I think. It says, you know, um, less, you know, the, the amount that changes in the next year is usually less than you think, but the amount that changes in the next five years is usually more than you think, right? And that's how it is with things as we learn, which is that it kind of creeps up on, right? Um, so I want to remind you about where you came from a little bit, but I also want to encourage you to take away one of the core lessons of this class. I mean, obviously, we're here to teach you computer science, but one of the things I want, I hope that you will understand that we've been trying to help you with in terms of how the course is structured, it is that if you want to learn something, you have to do it every single day. There's no shortcuts. There's no magic pill. It's not the matrix, right? There's no way to download something right into your brain. You just got to keep coming back to it. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to feel down sometimes. There's going to be some days where it's going to be difficult to do. But if you want to master something, daily practice, a daily routine, a daily, um, you know, the daily habit of coming back to something and doing a little bit of it every single day is what gets you there. Right. And the thing is, it takes a while. Right. It takes a while. You like want to learn the piano. Well, better budget a few years of sitting down with it every day. And so when you want to learn something, when you want to succeed in future classes, this is the lesson that I hope to impart to you in this last lesson of this semester. It's not about computer science. It's about how you learn, um, which is you do a little bit every day and you're going to get there. Um, not every course is set up to help you with that to the degree that CS125 is, and that's one of the things I really like about this class, and you know, oh, lo and behold, I teach it, and so that might have something to do with how it's set up. But you know, you're gonna go on to other classes that aren't gonna necessarily provide you the same structure. But if you can provide that structure for yourself, you will succeed. Do a little bit every day, and you'll be shocked at how much you can accomplish in a semester. Okay, so let's get to all the big numbers, um, and I will see you at the bottom.